September 19th, 2022. Today is my birthday and I turn 34. It's also the third anniversary of this very here channel. And as I did last year, I am, you know, kind of feeling reflective a little bit as I do whenever I have a birthday and I'm sure you do as well. But I think here on this channel, I'll make it a little bit of a tradition to journal about my life over the past year so that I can kind of document where my head was at at this point in time and maybe someday look back on it in the future. So, you know, this video is, is more for me than it is, it is for you. <laughs> so, you know, it's more of a, a therapy session of me blabbering on about my life uh, and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, you might find something that you relate to as well. So, you know, stick around and, and hopefully uh, you do. So over the last year for me, there's been one big burning question that pops up in my mind every now and then. And, you know, I don't know what triggers it, but it appears often enough that I never forget it. And that is, what does it mean to live a good life? This past year for me has been honestly pretty challenging. There's been plenty of ups and downs and a lot of changes in my life, in people and mindset and career. And what gets me through the down periods is like kind of just zooming out and looking at the, the 20,000 foot view and seeing my life from a top-down perspective and seeing everything that's led me to this point. And, you know, on the whole, I feel grateful. I feel really, really grateful. But at the same time, I feel like I've lost a lot of momentum. But it's probably not for the reason that you're thinking. It's actually probably the opposite. So I feel fortunate at this stage of my life to be at a point where I feel like I've succeeded in attaining everything that I want in life. You know, by my own definition, I am successful. I have a great relationship with my family and with my partner. I have great friends. I've built myself a fantastic career. I have so much freedom in my life and I'm able to do whatever I want to do whenever I want to do it. You know, I could literally retire tomorrow and not work another single day of my life if I wanted to. And I'm so, so grateful for all of that. You know, and it took me an extreme amount of work to get there and so many people helped me along the way, but I made it. I, I, I worked my ass off and I actually made it. But what now? <laughs> That's really the fundamental idea and the fundamental question that has been plaguing me for the past year. I keep asking myself these like very existentialist questions like, you know, am I happy? What's the purpose of all of this, you know, why do I struggle so hard to create all these freedoms for myself at all? Like, do I have good life? What is life all about? All this kind of stuff, right? You know, I can't help but think of that scenario, you know, where if you were to suddenly wind up with a lot of money, like $50 million in your bank account, and then spending, you know, the next few years enjoying that money, enjoying that freedom, traveling, buying stuff, you know, going through new experiences and whatnot, what would you do with your life after that? You know, when the dust settles and you've got all the excitement out of your systems and, you know, you, you've gone through all of the different freedoms that you get, what now? This is the, the mentality and the reality that I'm kind of going through right now. I've like climbed my own mountain of personal success and I've reached so many of my own goals and, and it's like, you know, well, what now? What do I do? Right? <laughs> You know, like objectively speaking, I'm, I'm really satisfied and really content with my life, which is great, but I think that's the problem as well. I can see another life mountain to climb, but the one that I'm on right now is pretty damn comfortable and it's pretty damn high. You know, where does one gather the motivation and the drive and the ambition to climb to the next one? That's been the problem for me in this last year. My, my drive and, and my ambition and reason for existing has kind of taken a nosedive and I'm comfortable again, which is great, but that leads me in a crisis, right? I don't feel happy when I'm comfortable. I don't know what to do next. And again, that's not to say that I'm not grateful. I'm so grateful for everything that has come in the past, but I'm getting antsy and I'm resting on my laurels too much. And I think that has been the greatest downfall of my past year and what has caused me a lot of my ups and my downs. And, you know, my life overall is good, 
but it's not as good as what I thought it would be when I originally started this journey. You know what they say about like, how the journey is more important than the destination? It's true, man. Happiness is found in the pursuit for me. And so lately, as my birthday was approaching, I was looking back on the year that was and reflecting on how I wanted my next year of life to be and in attempt to prevent this past year's worth of stagnation from continuing, I want to focus on two very specific things to move my life forward. And those two things are purpose and virtue. To answer the question, what is the purpose of your life? Is like for me, the most existential question that destroys my brain trying to settle on an answer that I'm actually happy with. But I think it's also one of the most important questions in my life right now. And when I eventually come to find the answer to that, the, the honest and real connected answer to that, I think my life will be filled with a lot less inner turmoil and hopefully a lot more direction as well. And so I've been studying a lot of really successful people and reading a lot of biographies recently. And you know, one of the things that a lot of really successful people have had in common at the very tail end of their own pursuits is that this is what it boils back down to. What is the purpose of your life? The higher calling, the pursuit of something larger than yourself, the feeling that compels you to take action. What is that, right? Over the next year, I really wanna find what that is for me, what that next version is for me. And not just on like a, a surface level, you know, mission statement-y kind of way. I mean, it's something that really, really resonates with me to my core, some deep inner value that I can connect with, right? Like a new North Star that gets me out of bed in the morning, the thing that keeps me moving and progressing in life. And then I wanna do all of that with the idea of virtue at the top of mind. So one thing that helped me get to where I am now, but I've been neglecting a lot in this past year is the practice of stoicism. So I've been a, a huge fan of stoicism for over a decade now. And I think subconsciously last year, I had this mentality of like, you know, what got you here won't get you there kind of thing. And I realized that for me, you know, Stoic philosophy really is the guide to the good life. And it really is foundational to my success, I feel. And it's something that I want to definitely refocus on this year coming. And when it comes to the good life, the Stoics believe that a life well led is a life led virtuously. They believe that to achieve happiness, success, meaning, honor in life, the path to this is one of virtue. Cicero, the great Roman orator once said, the man who has virtue is in need of nothing, whatever for the purpose of living well. And the Stoics define virtue in four main traits. And the first one is wisdom, which is the ability to put things into action, the things that we learn and we experience over our lives. The second one is temperance, understanding that true abundance in life comes from having only what is essential, no more and no less. It's about the idea of self-control and modesty, something that has been out of control for me in this past year. The third is courage, the ability to persist in the face of judgment, death, misfortune, turmoil, you know, but also to resist temptation, to not rest in comfort, to keep moving, to control the things that you can control, your mind and your body. And then the last but most important of all, justice. The idea of doing good in the world to yourself and to your fellow human. The Stoics talked a lot about the idea of sympathia, the idea that we are all connected, that hurting one will hurt all, and you know, pursuing the best in ourselves is a, a demonstration of care for others. And I love these ideas. I love knowing that these foundational values will move me forward towards better things. I know they have for me in the past, that's for sure. And I love the idea that Pursuing a purpose in a virtuous way is something that I can focus on next year and you know move forward with. And while at this stage, I don't actually know if it's going to make me happier than I am right now, I do have a good feeling about it. 
So I'm excited to do it, and I hope I get to find the drive and the zest for the next mountain of life that I'm looking for. And hopefully next year I'll have a, a better answer to the question of what does it mean to have a good life. But as I mentioned at the start of the video, I am super grateful for everything in my life right now, and I'm grateful that I get to chat to you the person who is still watching to the end of this video. So thank you for watching and thank you for all of your support. And you know, I look forward to serving you in the next year to come. I'll see you next week. Peace.